bird on a tree. Hi guys. So the topic for today is family member. Family member. In Tetun, we say membro familia. Okay, repeat after me. <laughs> Number one, we have parents. Parents. Parents in Tetun means ama ho apa. Ama ho apa. Number two, we have father. Number two, we have father or daddy. In Tetun, we say apa. Apa. Number three, mother or mommy. In Tetun, ama. Number three, and eh, number four, <laughs> husband. Husband. In Tetun, lion. Number five, wife. Wife. Number nine, Tetun, fan. Okay, guys, please uh, remember them. This will be the part one of this um, of our topic because we have four parts to cover, and each part we have. Um, sentences and vocabularies that I have prepared for you guys to remember as you study this topic. So again, please read them. Family member, membro familia, parents, apa ho ama, father or daddy, ama apa, mother or mommy, ama, husband, lion. Wife, fan. Okay, I hope you guys are good to go. Let's go to next page. Now we have your next. Uh, this page is about. We'll be talking about the this sentence. Oh wait, guys, sorry. So in this sentence, we are going to. I uh, use those um, parents. Um, we're going to use them in the sentence. So you guys see here, my parents are my parents are. I'm um, sorry, this is not supposed to be what I was to choose. So let us have it. Let's choose different one instead. I'll just choose the line one. So my parents, my parents are working in the farm in english or oh, in tattoo we said how nia ama ho apa servisu iha tos again please read them my parents are working in the farm how nia ama ho apa servisu iha tos Okay, I think you guys are good to go. Let's go to the next page. Here we have uh, number two. My father is a very responsible man. In Tetun, how nia apa mane ida nebe responsible loss. Okay, let us read it a little bit faster. My father is a very responsible man. How nia apa ida mane ida nebe responsible loss. How nia apa mane ida nebe responsible loss. Number three. Let's change the color. I don't know if you guys like it, but I'm a little bit disturbed by it. Let's check it. Let's uh, change it to pink. Okay. Number three, my husband really loved me. How near line hadomi lost how? Again, my husband really loved me. How near line hadomi lost how? 
My husband really loved me. How many line hadomi lost how? Number three. My mother is. Oh, number four. Sorry, guys. My mother is a diligent woman. <laughs> Actually, I don't really have enough sleep, so my mind is not cooperating. But anyway, guys. So number four. How niya ama ne feto ida ne be wadinas los. Again, guys, please read them. My mother, my mother is a diligent woman. How niya ama ne feto ida ne be wadinas los. Okay. Very good. Now let's have number five. Number five. Let us read them. I'll line them one by one, and you guys will read them. Number five. My wife is beautiful, but her heart outshines her outward beauty. In that one, how near fan bonita my beninia fuan. Na Roman Liu Fali Ninia Oin Bonita. Okay, again, please read them. My wife is beautiful, but her heart outshines her outward beauty. Aunia Fen Bonita, my Ben Ninia Puan, na Roman Liu Fali Ninia Oin Bonita. That's pretty a little bit faster. My wife is beautiful, but her heart outshines her outward beauty. Okay, let us go to the next page. Next slide, I mean. Okay, guys, this is my favorite part. <laughs> so, these are vocabularies. In everywhere, you cannot actually learn anything without um, knowing the vocabularies, okay? So, vocabularies are actually very important. Vocabularies are important laws by Imi. Here I may aprend the lingua. Jadi, um, very to thank you. Um, hafal or memorize, decorize or memorize the vocabularies because it will help you guys uh, faster in your journey in learning English or Tetun. So let's read vocabularies. In Tetun, vocabularius era. Okay, now we have here number one. Working, working. In that tone, working means servisu hela. Um, actually, I'm not going to explain like how the um the, the tenses is, um like progressive tenses. I'm not going to explain them, but here are they. Now number two, we have working. Oh, sorry, work. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Number two, work in Teton means servisu. Servisu. Number three, farm. Farm. Farm in Teton means toos. Toos. Responsible. Responsible in Teton means responsible. Now, next we have men. Man in Tetun means money. Okay, guys, please um, read them again for me. Vocabularies, vocabulary zero, vocabulary zero, working, servisu hela, work, servisu, farm, tos, responsible, responsible, man, money. Yay, you guys are very good. Now, let us go to our next slide. Oh, we still have more vocabularies to go. So in this sentence, in this lesson only, you guys cover a lot of vocabularies to learn, and I'm happy for you guys. So let us have a smaller one. Now here, vocabularies. Oh, I'm sorry. Vocabularies again. Now vocabular vocabularies here. I'm not going to keep repeating them. I hope you guys know how to read them already. Number one, we have love. We have Hadomi or Domin. 
really love really love in that tone means hadomilos okay me how diligent badina's loss wait diligent is not badina's loss badina's woman fatto beautiful or beauty bonita outshines na roman liu yeah you guys are good to go now please uh, read them again for me vocabularies vocabulary sera love hadomi or domin really love hadomi loves me how diligent padinas woman feto beautiful or beauty bonita outshines na roman liu okay next let's go to the next slide yeah we are now in the second part of this topic we are in the second part of this topic let me change this point so it will be a little bit thicker now we have your family member again <laughs> uh, member of familia i just want to really make sure you guys really can read it so okay here number one children children Owen Sira Owen Sira Child Child Owen Owen Son Son Owen Mane Owen Mane Daughter Daughter Owen Feto Owen Feto Okay Guys, please um, repeat them if you want to. So let us move to next slide. Um, now we have here number one. We have here number one. But I'd like to change this. Okay. My children are already in school. Here, how nia on sira iha eskola tia ona. We can just say on sira eskola ona. You can also say once again in English, my children are already in school. My children are already in school. How nia on sira iha eskola tia ona. Okay. Next slide. Next slide we have. I love my child. How hadomi how nia on. Again, I love my child how hadomi how nia on ready faster i love my child how hadomi how nia on next next we have oh sorry my son is studying abroad Abroad, some people say, but abroad, I'm just fine. How near own money service to Hela? Iha, Rai Liur. Again, my son is studying abroad. How near own money service to Hela? Iha, Rai Liur. My son is studying abroad. How near own money service to Hela? Iha, Rai Liur. Okay. Here we go. Slide number four. My daughter is a teacher. 
Antonio Juan Fetone Mestra Ida. Again, my daughter is a teacher. Haunia Juan Fetone Mestra Ida. Again, my daughter is a teacher. Haunia Juan Fetone Mestra Ida. Okay, guys. You guys are first learner. Okay, now we have here vocabularies. <laughs> this is my favorite part, but I hope you guys like it also. Please, please, guys, memorize all of this because I'm sure, guys, I promise you this will help you guys in your journey. Um, I always say journey, but in your as you are having your study in these languages. Now, again, vocabularies. I actually emphasize this for Tetan speakers to be able to read um, this. And for you guys, English speakers, vocabulary, Sira. Okay, now. Let us read again the words here. Studying is to the hella. Study is to the abroad. Railure teacher. Mestre or mestra. Escola Already Tiha ona or ona A Ida Okay guys, I'm not going to explain why all of this This is um, actually an article but I am not actually going to explain all of that So just know what's the meaning of it now again, please guys, read them again. Let a little time, okay guys? Vocabularies, vocabulary, Sarah. Studying, estuda hella. Study, estuda, abroad, railure. Teacher, mestre or mestra. School, escola. Already, tiha ona or ona. Eh, ida. Guys, please, uh, read them again if you guys like to. But now, uh, let's just move on to the next slide. Okay, now we are here on the third part of this um, lesson today. So, again, family member. Membro familia. This is just actually part two, guys. So, number one, older brother. Maun. Older sister, Bean or Mana. Younger brother, Alin Mane. Younger sister, Alin Keto. For English speakers, guys, um, you can just say Alin when you see someone is younger than you. I don't have to worry about saying Alin Mane, Alin Peta, it's just fine. Um, except if you were gonna use it in a sentence or if the person is actually your own um, sister or I mean biological sister or biological brother, you can see use Alin Mane, Alin Peta. But if the person is just someone who is younger than you, you can just say Alin, it's just fine. But if you don't say Alin, it's also fine. It's just... Um, the way you wanna um, make the person is like feeling close to you, that's why you wanna say Alin. But if not, it's just fine. You can say it's just the person's name, it's just alright. Now, guys, please, I want you guys to re read it again. Older brother, Maun. Older sister, Bean or Mana. Younger brother, Alin Mane. Younger sister, Alin Feto. Okay, guys, now let's move to the next slide. Okay, we have here. <laughs> The sentences again that please guys read with me. Read it with me. Le ho how guys number one numero ida number one my older brother studies medicine in university. How near mount is to the medicina iha universidade again guys um read them 
my older brother studies medicine in university. How new mom is the medicina in the university. My older brother studies medicine in university. How new mom is the medicina in the university. Okay, next. We have here my older sister is married. How nia been hola mane ona? Again, guys, read them. Letan, my older sister is married. How nia been hola mane ona? My older sister is married. How nia been hola mane ona? Okay, guys, now um, for this one. Number three, one of my younger, suppose, younger brother passed away four years ago. How nia alin mane ida mate ihatinan hat liba? Guys, sorry, I just wanna type something that actually I find it a little bit mistake here supposed to be younger younger yes here we go younger okay uh, sorry guys that I actually didn't include N here again guys please read it with me read it with me one of my younger brother passed away four years ago how near Ali Mani Ida Mate Iha Tinan Hat Liba Again, one of my younger brother passed away four years ago. Okay, here I could go number four. Number four, we have my younger sister is still a baby. Ah, what is happening right now? I'm sorry guys, I need to fix this one very quickly. Supposed to be this one is up a little bit up here, but anyway, just to mind them. So, how nia alin fetone bebe say bebe hella <laughs> guys? Supposed to be these sentences are in this okay in this white, um, but I don't know how am I gonna fix this right now. Let me see if I can fix this. Really can't be fixed, guys. Sorry. Whatever. Anyway, so it can be fixed, so let's just focus on this. Now, please, guys, read it again. I'll let a little time. My younger sister is still a baby. How near Alin Fetone say bebe hella? My younger sister is still a baby. How near Alin Fetone say bebe hella? Okay, you guys are good to go. Yes, <laughs> my favorite part again. Now, vocabularies. Oh my gosh, it's actually a line. I don't know that. I don't. So, vocabularies. Vocabulario, Sira. Vocabulario, Sira. Okay, number one. Medicine. Medicine in Teton means medicina or aimoruk. University. Universidad Married Caben Ona or Hola Mane Ona, it's just fine. Hola Mane, Hola Feto, it's just fine. Passed away or died. Fila Ona or Mate Ona. Year Tinan Ago. Liba Baby Bebe Guys, I wanna fix something here very quickly So, here, Kaben Ona You can actually also say it um, Hola um, Hola Mane Ona Oh, what's 
happening right now? Oh, whatever, it's not actually working, but let me just type it somewhere else here. So we have here, hola mane. Hola mane. Or hola peto. Okay, guys, let me say some simplicity very quickly. So this song, hola mane, it's also just the same with married already. Hola feto is also the same with married. But hola mane is to use for someone who is a girl who is getting married who is already get married now this one is hola feto means the guy who already get married guys i hope you guys get what my point is but let's just go and read them again vocabularies voc vocabularies vocabularies era medicine medicina or aimoruk university universidade married married Cabin ona or hola mane or hola feto. Passed away or died. Passed away or died. Fila ona or mate ona. Year. Tinan. Ago. Liva. Baby. Bebe. Okay, I think, I think you guys are good to go. So, let's. Ahead. Okay, this this slide is the fourth part of this video. So let us read them again. I just wanna change this color because I think I don't want to change this color. Okay, let's go to the pink again. Family member Membro Familia Number one auntie Tia in Teton, okay? Uncle Tio Nephew Sobrinho Niece Sobrinha Cousin 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 Primo or Prima Okay, so let us read them again, guys. Fa family member or member of familia. Auntie, tia, uncle, tio, nephew, sobrinho, niece, sobrinha, cousin, prima, or primo. Okay, guys, next. We have the first sentence again for this part 4 of this topic. My f my auntie and uncle lives in the city. Um, actually, um, having a mistake right now. It's supposed to be. I'll just change this one and uh, let me let me erase this all first. It's gonna stop. So let me change this one to line instead of the box. It's a little bit disturbing. My auntie and uncle lives in the city. Oh, let me just see the How nia tia no ho tiu hela iha sidade. Again, guys, let's read them again. My auntie and uncle lives in the city. How nia tia ho tiu hela iha sidade. My auntie and uncle lives in the city. How nya tia ho tiu hela iha sidade. Okay, my nephew look like his father. <laughs> Let us read this again. Let's read them together. My nephew look like his father. How nya subrinyo nya oin hanesan nya apa. Again guys, let's read them. My nephew look like his father. How nya subrinyo nya oin hanesan nya apa? Read it faster a little bit. My nephew look like his father. How nya subrinyo nya oin hanesan nya apa? Okay guys, you guys make a good job. Okay, number three. My niece studies 
very hard. How Nia Subrinya estuda makas los. Again, my niece studies very hard. How Nia Subrinya estuda makas los. Okay, guys. That's all. My niece studies very hard. How Nia, how Nia Subrinya estuda makas los. Okay. Number three. And number four. Sorry, guys. Number four, we have my cousins are all abroad. How Mia Primo no Prima Sira Hotu Hotu Iha Railur. How my cousins are all abroad. How Mia Primo ho Prima Sira Hotu Hotu Iha Railur again. My cousins are all abroad. Nya primo no prima sera hotu hotu iha railor. Okay. Number five. Oh, actually it's not number five. It's vocabularies. Now guys, let us read the vocabularies again. Let's change the color. So number one here. Very. Ah, uh, what's happening? Let us have it here. Very hard. Very hard. Makas loss. All hot to hot to look look hot uh, hare or hateke like hanesan or gosta city sidade or villa okay guys uh, let me just erase this because it's a little bit mess here. I still think of this a while ago in the next part. I don't know how so I have to. I don't have to change them. I'll just make it better next video. In my next video, but um, I'm also learning actually to use this app. I'm um, presenting this. So guys, let us read them again. Vocabularies or vocabulary here. Very hard. Makaslos. All. Hotu hotu. Look. Hare or Hateke, like Hanesan or Costa, City, Sidade. I think I don't have to use this line, right? I can just use this pointer. Oh my god, I should have think of this a while ago. Anyway. So, yes. Now, this is the last <laughs> part of this video, guys. I hope you guys are still with me right now. Please, guys, <laughs> stay with me. Don't leave. <laughs> So let us read again this. Uh, I think I'm not gonna use um, those. I'll just use the line instead. Now, family member here. Member of familia again. So, grandparents. Abo feto or abo mane. Grandfather or grandpa. Abo mane, grandmother or grandma, abo feto, grandson, beon mane, granddaughter, beon feto, grandchildren, beon mane. Okay, guys, please read them again with me. Grandparents, abo feto or abo mane. Grandfather, ka grandpa, abo mane. Grandmother or grandma, abo feto. Grandson, beowan mane. Granddaughter, beowan feto. Grandchildren, beowan sira. Okay, now let's go to our next slide. Here we go. My grandparents are very old now. How nia abo sira agora katuas los ona. Again, guys, please read them. My grandparents are very old now. How nia abo sira agora very close ona. Okay, so. I hope you guys get something until this point. <laughs> now, again, this one. My grandpa 
is still very strong and can still drive a motorbike here how near abo mane say for no nyasilori motor okay let us read it again my grandpa is still very strong and can still drive a motorbike how near abo mane say for no say lori motor Again, my grandpa is still very strong and still drive a motorbike. Karena bawa mana sih perasaan mau sih lawan motor? Okay, I don't think I should use the line again. Let's just use the pointer instead. So my grandma is sick and lying in the hospital. Karena abo veto moras no toba hela iha hospital. Again, guys, my grandma is sick and lying in the hospital. How near above it, Moras, not to Bahela Iha Hospital. Number four. We are very proud of our grandchildren. Ami or Gwelu Tebespa Aminia B. O. Ansira. We are very proud of our grandchildren. Ami or Gwelu Tebes Pa Ami Nia Beo Ansira Okay, next My grandson name is Pedro Sorry, my grandson's name is Pedro How Nia Beo An Mane Naran Pedro Again, my grandson's name is Pedro How Nia Beo An Mane Naran Pedro Okay Next slide. This is my, probably the last slide of this uh, topic, guys. So I'm just bear with me. I think it has been how many minutes already, guys. This time, our granddaughter stays with us. I mean, be one feto hela ho ami. Our granddaughter stays with us. I mean, be one feto hela ho ami. Okay. Next. These are the vocabularies, guys. Please um, continue to read them and um, I just read them together. Let me just use the pointer. Very old. Duan los ona. Okay, guys. Now this is what something that I need to explain to you guys. How can I get to explain about the word Ona, but very old. Not duan los. Uh, actually, I only want to speak this one. Um, I want to explain it in edit ba siran bima English. To English speakers, guys, very old. Uh, in, that one means to one loss. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to use this to one loss to a person. Actually, uh, the true meaning of very old is to one loss ona, but to one loss ona is usually actually it usually used for things. Very old is um, if you wanna use that for a person, for example, grandparents are very old. You in that one is katuas. Ho akatuas no very, very close ona. Yeah, this is what you guys should use. Um, let me just drag them. I don't know what happened. I'll just put them here. So that's all, guys. I, I hope you guys get it. So tuan los is actually the true meaning of very old. But if you wanna use it for a sentence like um, for how to say that um a person. Uh, saying someone is already old, you should not say tuan los ona. It's like too rude. I just say katuas no very close ona. We have a specific word about it. So okay, number two, now agora, very strong, forza liu, strong, forza, drive motor. Actually, guys, I am making a huge mistake here. This is uh, <laughs> this is not riding a motorbike i'm actually just um let me just change it um this one is not supposed to be here i'm actually just um, making a little mistake here oh, i don't know how to do that one but anyway so instead of uh, riding a motorbike you just say drive motor in that one you can say lorry lorry motor yeah this is it guys 
I'm so sorry for this one. This is actually, let me just, um, this is not right. This is, not. I make a mistake and I had my PowerPoint. So again, daily data, drive motor, in that one means lorry motor. It's not a ride motorbike, guys. <laughs> Seek, Morris. Okay, once again, number one, very old. Katuan Losona. Again, Tuan Losona is for things. Katuas no very close on is for uh, referring to people or a person. Now, Agora, very strong. Forza Liu, strong. Forza, drive motor, lorry motor, Siak, eh, Sig, sorry, Sig, Moras. Okay, I, I think we are almost done. Yes, this probably is the last one. Now, guys, let's read them again. Hospital. 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 Lying or sleeping. Toba Hela. Proud supposed to be, guys. Why did I actually write proud? Proud. Again. Proud again. Proud. So I'll actually, I'll just do something with this. Yes, instead of brown, it's proud. Okay, guys. Anyway, it can still be corrected. So again, proud in the means or goyu, stay, hella, with, ho, as, ami again. Read with me again. Hospital hospital lying or sleeping tobahela proud or goyu stay hella with ho as ami yay guys are gonna go oh where are we right now oh, okay so guys this is all for this video actually but for the Tetan speakers, um, for their sake, because I want them to really read this one, so I'm putting this on right now. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos on my channel. And have fun, guys, as you learn. Now, next. Oh, what's happening? It's actually a little bit loading right now. I think this is the all. Oh, guys, it has been so long. Um, I just hope you guys have learned something. I'm just so happy that you are together with me until now. <laughs> um, you are not giving up and you are still here. Just so watch this video until the end, guys. I'm so, so happy. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned Topiku kona ba family ne, how usu ito bus sira to um, decor ka hafal, lifuan sira ni bema kan ito bol de vocabulario, fa hafal ito ne tambanya siya judi ito bus sira forma uh, kalimat ka frase ni bema kan I mean, fasil ba ito bus sira. Okay guys, that is all. I was just actually explaining to Tetan speakers on uh, how to, uh, for them to memorize the vocabulary. Anyway, so guys, um. I actually, in my previous video, I just read them and then actually point them one by one. But in this time, I decided to point them um, so that you guys, because some people have a private message me saying that I read too fast or, you know, like they don't know what I was reading. They just want me to point out uh, one by one so they'll know exactly what I was reading is so they can also follow in me, follow me as they read. So. For those who are fast learners, or this guy, uh, video is a little bit boring, or you can, you guys can tell me. You are always, um, I actually welcome all of you to tell me in private message or in the comment section. Tell me um, how you guys want to learn. Like for the English speakers, if you guys want me to have a spread video for for you guys, I'll be glad to do that. For Tetan speakers, I hope you guys learn. Um, I'm so glad that we're still here once again. <laughs> so that's all for this video. Bye guys. I'll see you guys on my next video.